Like, yeah, I, I too am. I'm, I'm kind of amazed too that such a, a cesspool of. No, like the, the construction uh, on this whole place is like awful. Like, sort I'm of. Sure. The cesspool of indigen and the, you know, just run down buildings lasted so long in the, like, the first world. Like, if you think of, like, the Ontario construction code or whatever, I'm sure that these buildings violate every rule in that place. Like, but, uh, but they're still standing. What but, the? Well, you the know, stone like, tablet, obviously. You no, know, the construction, uh, you know, like, construction codes, building codes. I, like, these places, let's just put it, let's... First of all, the installation of the wall is like newspapers from the 60s, okay? <laughs> sure and uh, it's probably as best as nice even though that's been outlawed from now. <laughs> yeah, and let's just say that like some of the, uh, some yeah. the cross beams and supportive frame structures on the buildings are bad. I think... This is have... the... I smell lead paint in your house, man. <laughs> there's, like, there's lead in the pipes, lead in the paint, asbestos. Lead in the water, and there's fucking... Uh... Yeah, there is lead in the water, because there's lead in the pipes, so therefore there's lead in the water. And then you have, um... So it's just awful. It's breaking Flo so many laws. Fluoride in the water, John. Okay, you're it can only up. mean one thing. It's Lucky charms are made of children's souls. Time traveling Nazis. Okay, what is it? Let's give context to that. I want to talk about how bad these these houses are constructed, but if somehow it's the, the test of time in like 70 winters. There's literally <laughs> newspapers insulating my wall. I bet if I opened up my wall, I'd find a story from the 1960s. Could if man, you open up your wall, it'd probably all collapse the entire house. <laughs> yeah, probably would. Yeah. Like, the fact that these things are standing, like, didn't one of those houses on the Pope Brown side once, like, collapse recently? <laughs> we gotta give some context. The Brown side? <laughs> Basically, these, these, these two ghetto neighborhoods, uh, side by side. <laughs> one, the, one of the houses on one of the sides is kind of white, and the other side is kind of brown. So we call that the brown side. <laughs> it's not what you think it is. But a lot of people think that we're referring to the people who live there, but that's yeah, actually coincidentally, coincidentally, it happened to be... PC um, bro? I'm not... I, don't spot me, bro. But, um, yeah. Don't spot you? Don't. you? I think you want to be spotted. I don't need to, bro. I don't need your microaggressions. Anyways, <laughs> the, long story short, these, these houses are awful. They're built awfully, and I'm surprised that they still can't. We can't use like we can't use like the modern light bulbs in our ceiling because like it's too high wattage or something like that. Don, you should have bought the electrical company instead of the railroad. You see, you know, we still use like uh, oil-powered gas lanterns. <laughs> I it's wish, light. but no, like it like oil? like I'm quoting my mom a few years ago. I tried to put in one of those new fancy light bulbs, like the LED ones. Because, like we don't have to. Like the housing company came over and they're like, you don't have the correct like wiring to support that high voltage or whatever. Like, oh my god! I'm like, what? They're like, it would cause a fire. I'm like, are you serious? So we gotta use like those those old like 1950s fucking. Which is great, you know. It's great. Yeah. We always want to use. Oh, it's great. Use the technology it's great. for the 1950s. Dude, it's not even. It's not Americana. It's not Canadian. It's bad. Oh, good things grow in Ontario, guys. You know? Oh, I remember that. You remember that commercial? Good things grow in Ontario. Oh, you know the heritage spots? The things that have been like, they used to do them in the 90s? The, uh, the heritage spots, right? Like the one minute. They started them again. Like, it's big, that's pretty big news. You know when you'd be watching Teletoon or like YTV, like none of the Americans know that. That's some old school stuff, Teletoon. None, none of the, none of, that's still on. And none of the Americans know that because it's all Canadian. Um, there's a new Heritage Minute, actually. Yeah, there is. Uh, Terry Fox. I saw a new one. No, no, there's another one. It was just, just recently, actually. There was one with Terry Fox, uh, with Lloyd Robinson. There was something about, in 2015, Doctor! Canada made history. Electing the first pot smoking prime minister of office. Really? <laughs> no, <laughs> but that wouldn't that be a good heritage minute? Okay, we're getting we're getting fucked on. Oh, you're on the other team, so you're winning. I'm getting fucked. Great, so we're not gonna make it out alive. A winning capture, me. Pat, I'll pat yourself on the back. Thanks. You're part of a revolutionary movement to give the ghetto more money. Part of a movement to support people who can't even buy a new a new uh, computer chair. It's literally. <laughs> But once again, just to just to make sure you all know, it's falling apart at the seams, and at any moment, could collapse and just <laughs> break apart. You're gonna fucking hit your neck, and you're gonna break it. You're gonna break it. No, I'm not gonna snap my neck. I'm just gonna probably end up uh, hurting myself real bad. Maybe I'll go through the floor. Who knows? It's that unstable, right? <laughs> and cheap, so I might just end up right through the floor to the living room. <laughs> I love you, Willie.
You know, stepping into our houses are like <laughs> stepping into a time machine. You'll never know what you're gonna find. <laughs> it's also like, you gotta sign a waiver before you- Yeah, you're also stepping into a death trap. You gotta sign a waiver, man. We don't know what's gonna happen. Oh, my favorite map. I love playing the medic because I can focus on what I'm talking about and just hold down the button. I don't have to focus on killing people. I just, like, I just look at the health indicators and try to keep people alive. It's pretty easy. That way I can just talk. There's something uh, John's actually very good at doing. He's just completely ignoring what. Whoa, sentry, sentry! I want to be on the right side of history. Do you, don't you love that quote? The right side of history. It seems to be a, a quote that's going around a lot. I want to be on the right side. Obama, of Obama. People say Obama's on the right side of history. You know, who knows on the right side of history? The conservatives are on the wrong side of history. And those people on the left? Well, they're just liberals. My, when I think about when I think about George Carlin. And his quote, this is his quote about liberals. Liberals think the only problem with this country, meaning America, is that there isn't enough bicycle path. If I could have a choice between you and George Carlin as my friend, I would choose George Carlin. The dead corpse. <laughs> yeah, I would go talk to the <laughs> skeleton. It'd be like Sans from Undertale. Actually, you know, he, his body would be so shriveled, he'd probably be unable to speak. <laughs> Let's just fit, put it like this, he's dead and can speak none, and cannot speak either way. Rigor Mortis has treated him well. If only you had some friends, isn't that right, James? But unfortunately, we found out that you do not indeed have any friends. I can't, you see, I can afford friends, I'm that poor. <laughs> you can't even afford friends? No. You see, nothing in life is free. And, I can't, and that means friends too, so sadly, <laughs> I'm, sadly I don't have any. Remember the show, what was that show called where they had the guy from UFO Magazine, the old guy? UFO Hunters? Sorry? UFO, UFO alien hunters on history. That yeah, show. with something about the yeah, water okay, so tower. Okay, fucking retarded, okay? So basically in this episode, there's this like old abandoned water tower in some like, a, like, this raggy ass run down American town. You know, good old America. Like, pretty much, oh. you know, just about on par with this ghetto here. And, um... <laughs> and, like, good old ghetto. There's like this, like, 90 year old water tower and this fucking old crazy senile man looks at it, right? And then he looks at the camera and he's like, this can mean one thing. <laughs> Time traveling Nazis. They had no reasoning and no evidence. They were just like, this is time traveling Nazis using this device called the Bell to travel through time. The Taco Bell. Hey, remember the movie, uh, what was it? What is it? Uh, Independence Day with Will Smith. You remember that? You remember when the aliens first got onto the onto Earth, right? In Independence Welcome Day? to Earth. No, no, no. Like they're in LA, right? Welcome to Oh, shoot that green shit at me. <laughs> you remember all the Welcome to Earth. All the hippies, right, on the roof. I don't want that green shit. Give me some money. You remember all the hippies on the roof, like trying to welcome yeah. the aliens? And then they get blasted to smithereens. <laughs> Will Smith is like just walk, like dragging that alien through the, through the fucking like the desert. He's like, what are you fucking doing? And he's like beating up the corpse. I don't know. Was... Someone was talking about um, uh, Fresh Prince tonight. So this is a story all about how. My life got oh. turned upside down. Let me take a minute to sit right there, and let me tell you how the independent state ruined my life. Remember Will Ferrell in, uh, in fucking uh, Anchorman, After New Delight? People have sex every day, every day. You know, gonna grab some baby, gonna hold it. Don't do it, Don't grab some after New Delight. I'm out of love, we've been. right, it's right, gonna. I wait into the middle of a cold, dark night. When it's all a little clearer in the night Line of day Except you can't have sex here If you're poor, you know, you can't afford the facilities You can't afford sex yeah, okay, excuse me. You, can't, you can't afford, excuse me You can't afford the facilities You can't afford the protection And even if you did, you can't afford to have the hooker Okay, so I walked downtown the other day And some hobos without a sex under a bridge Okay, I don't think you need money to have sex and you gotta, you know, you gotta pay for the mo for like the motel or whatever. <laughs> Some people aren't fancy like that. You know, you can offer a back alley street or something, but then you gotta pay the hooker, you know, ten dollars or something. And you know, some people just can't pay that without going hungry for the month. Until the government decides to start funding, uh, you know, subsidizing sex workers to have sex with people. <laughs> <laughs> I can see that happening. I can see it happening. Because people are gonna get PTSD from not having sex. Yeah, subsidized government hookers, literally working for the government. They're gonna be really bad too. 
And they're gonna like service people on like government subsidy. <laughs> service people. It's self-service gas station type thing. <laughs> <laughs> You know, just shove it in yourself. Come on, just give it a pump. It's, it's gonna be like when you want Heinz ketchup, but instead you get like selection and no need ketchup. <laughs> you get that crappy ketchup that they yeah, sell that, at that McDonald's. Tastes really, that tastes really. No, the McDonald's ketchup tastes a lot like Heinz, but like like no salty selection or whatever. Like, that's not like it's Almer's, <laughs> the like, worst ketchup in the world. <laughs> You know, I think I think they we really lived up to our name here. The, you know, the, the worst show ever. Give ourselves all a uh, pat on the back here. A nice self service on the back. Subsidized by the government. <laughs> I've also heard about like you know something something called the plug. You know, it's not called the console. It's called the plug. You should get off that plug. My mom would always shout so violently. Get off the plug. Wait, what are we talking about? A plug. Listen. Okay, so, like, Mike, you weren't there, you weren't around back in those days, but when we were younger, okay, Mike, when we play, like, N64, even, or PlayStation 2. Get off a plug. Yeah, basically, my mom, she didn't, like, really call them video games, she called them the plug, right? So, like, it's like, like if you think about that for a second, just think about it. It's like he's referring to the TV. Yeah, no, like, listen, like, just think about it for a second. Get off the plug, John. So, like, listen, listen, so, like... We'd be playing PlayStation oh. or N64 or maybe even Super Nintendo to do this in fucking four. Just being <laughs> and, and Is this in 2005? Yeah, this was in like early 2000s. Wait, uh, oh, 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 before we, you know, let, let's face it, right, back in like 2012, I was still playing N64, so... <laughs> that's saying something. Well, I mean, some people, like, enjoy it, and that's why you played it. Oh no, I played it because that's all I had. So in 2012, you had Xbox, you had Xbox. Yeah, guess what, guess what, it wasn't my Xbox. <laughs> Oh, right. so you, yeah, you did have that N64. Right? I owned the N that's the true. only one I owned was the N64. That's right. That is true. That is true. I can confirm that. Yeah, that's right. So like, we'd be playing like I don't know what was that game like Goldfinger. Like, Goldfinger. Gold <laughs> was it called Goldfinger or was it Gold Member? What was his name? <laughs> Little Member? No, Gold Member. No, gold Member. I don't know. A golden oh, shower? I don't know. Oh, oh Golden Gun. It was called Golden Gun. I think. No, <laughs> wait, wait. It was Golden I 007 on the N64. It was also Golden Gun. No. <laughs> <laughs> what was that, that James Bond game where you had like the RC fucking tank and helicopter? You remember that? I remember it was a grappling hook shit. Yeah, and there, wasn't there also like the RC tank and helicopter? I think that was Agent Under Agent Under Fire or something like that. Might have been. Anyways, like we'd be playing this at like I guess nine o'clock, and my mom would scream up the stairs at the top of her fucking lungs, scare us all half to death, and just be like, "Get off the plane!" And like, if you think about what she's saying, just think about that for a second, okay? Get off the plug. Like, 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 are we like just like like putting our fingers in the outlet or some shit? Like, what are we like sucking on the plug? Are we putting it in our <laughs> mouth, up our ass? Like, what are we? Like, <laughs> and the actually, actually, the thermal energy coming from your ass is powering the machine. <laughs> like, what? Like, get off the plug! Like, are we? Like, like, I know. Remember the Adobe software suite, like Photoshop, After Effects, Illustrator, all that used to be like I don't know, like three grand or something. But now they offer it to like people, like just any anybody, not even students, for like thirty bucks a month, which is a lot more doable than buying it for like three. Which isn't doable for me at all. Like I oh, can't even. Small. I mean, you know, back in the day when I used to play like RuneScape or something, right? The, I think like the membership was like five dollars a month, and I couldn't even afford that. All right, so that's a. You remember that fucking fat woman who lives down the street and used to give out the, the rotten vegetables? Or something? Yeah, she was like sort of like the self-proclaimed like neighborhood ambassador. And like one time, me and James are outside. And like she yells at the top of her lungs, you can hear her from like a mile away. Two dollars, like like like, <laughs> like 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 two dollars was the most traumatic thing that has ever happened to this woman. Either, either she found two dollars or she was charged two dollars. I don't know to this day. I mean, I'm never gonna know. I'm getting pushed up in this. This better not be you. I mean, hey, like you know, two dollars goes a long way in the ghetto. <laughs> Like, so either she found two dollars... Yeah, you can buy a lot of bubble gum with that. She may have... Soldier, trust me. Like eight pieces. Soldier, go back. Soldier. She, she may Wait, have found uh, two dollars. Um, she may have, you know, I, uh, she may have found two dollars, she may have gotten paid two dollars, she may have gotten charged two dollars, someone may have asked her for two dollars. I don't know. And I'm never gonna know. But she screamed it for everyone to hear like it was the most dramatic thing ever.